We have really great sponsors such as the San Gabriel Valley Economic Partnership. And if you'd like to sponsor us, we will have you on the show. On to our morning buzz now. Yes, we got our very own Tammy Devine with us. Yay! And she has a very big announcement. I do have an announcement. There are so many things happening with Crown City News. I love what we do. I love you guys. You have a wonderful um, camaraderie, except when Scott's really mean to marry, but we'll talk about that. <laughs> we're, we're in trouble. She's being really nice. I know, right? I'm not the angry boss today. <laughs> but um, we have some great partnerships here with Crown City News and CCN Sunrise, and and we have a new one now. It is with Hot 92.3 The Beat. Wow. And so, yeah, it used to be a terrestrial awesome. radio station in Los Angeles. Yeah. And um, uh, they decided to go a new direction. So they came up with different call letters and things like that and just let it go. And so one of the people that used to work there decided, hey, let's take it, up, take it up and make it an internet radio station. And so they did. Now they have music on there and they have a ton of talk shows. Nice. And one of those talk shows I, is gonna I be- I happen to know a talk show. What? You! What? Yes, nice. I'm gonna do a talk show on Hot 92.3, The Beat. And um, what's really cool about this station is that um, you just uh, you can you can get it as an easy app. You can just download it as an easy app and just listen to it. You don't have to like sign in or do any weird weird stuff. I can I can operate it. So that means anybody can operate it. So what's your show going to be about? Well, it's going to be give about, it a name yet? Um, uh, almost. <laughs> I'm almost there. Right. Uh, it's going to be about pop culture and politics because, and you know what? Politics is really starting to become part of our pop culture now. It is. And, you know, um, I follow national news like crazy. I love that stuff, which is partly why you guys talk about it all the time, too. <laughs> I'm, I'm more the international. International yeah, news? Yeah, I love that. Yeah, the, the politics internationally. That's good, too. But I love the national stuff. I love everything going on with the elections. This is the craziest Big election year. cycle ever, and um, I know we'll be talking a little bit more about that. Uh, well, great. well, let's That's talk great. a little bit about that, well, right? We got, we got the, the big national thing going on right now is between Apple and the Versus FBI. Versus the FBI, yeah. Right. Apple, Apple v. FBI. You know... Um, I'd love to hear what your thoughts are <laughs> on that. Why don't you tell That's us? That's the thing with this um, uh, radio show that I'm well, going to be doing. And we I'm should actually, clarify, too, you are conservative, which I, is kind of an anomaly, right? <laughs> <laughs> an anomaly. <laughs> Scott's favorite line is that. Uh, right. Anomaly. <laughs> you, have to, you have to add some other things to <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm a black female conservative. Yes, I'm out really? now. Really? <laughs> okay. I, yes. The and conservative so, out of the conservative closet. I definitely I'm I saw the, the conservative, but the other two, I did not see that. Yeah, nobody coming. told me. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I, you know, the, all the different things going on um, uh, nationally, I have a lot of thoughts and opinions on it. And I've actually been really nervous to kind of jump into the fray because it can get really vicious real fast. Yeah. And what I'm hoping to do is kind of bring a different discourse. I do want to elevate the discourse a little bit, if, if, uh, if possible. Well, let's talk a little bit. What's okay. your stance yeah. on the what FBI is, yeah. or, or Apple? Which, just give me a sign. <clears throat> you know, and I- I'll ask you what. <laughs> okay. I, I, I really believe that um, the FBI needs to find another way. If I was the judge in this matter, I would say, FBI, you cannot force Apple to go against its own business interests because that's really what they're trying to do. Right. The um, lawyer for Apple was um, um, in front of uh, uh, some sort of hearing, and he was saying they want us to hack ourselves, and 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 I, you know, I'm with them. I don't think they should have to do that. Well, okay. So the it, other thing that's really interesting about that too is what terrorists would use your business, your work phone, to say, hey, get ready to bomb now. I don't think the phone that they're really needing is the phone with his work. Yeah. I think that's very possible that there could be something else out okay. there. But besides that, mm. so let me ask you a question now. You, you, you're siding with Apple. I am on this one. No, that, and, and that's fair. Yeah. That's fair. I totally get it. I don't but think I would. Wouldn't you would. rather have somebody that's like the FBI hack into something? Um, I'm sorry, would you rather have Apple hack into their own that can control that, that software and that program yeah. rather than the FBI handing it off to a third party person to go in and hack it? I think it's more likely that that software would be released to the public 
That way, then, if Apple controlled it, well, shame I, on them for not controlling but it. But doesn't the FBI have great minds? I mean, aren't they recruiting they the great minds, they right, do. to come in? So why can't one of their own people try and find a different way to hack into this? Okay, I think it opens about, up a Pandora's box if, um, if this code is put out there to, to uh, break mm. into this phone because somebody else will be able to get it if Apple creates this back door. I think and I don't if think Apple owns the rights to the phone and they own the rights to that code, it's, it's like the Colonel Sanders, man, lock it up. <laughs> well, the Why thing about it, it is that they've actually talked, to, they've actually um, um, given information over to the FBI a few times before in the past. So that's that's a little twist in there. That's I a little awkward. I just had a little ding that means we, we need to wrap it up a little bit. <laughs> or, we'll, or will you come on next time? We, we have to take <laughs> yeah. the cookies out of the oven. Oh, yeah, no. There we go. So come on, come on another time with us. I will, absolutely. Is, All right. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay, okay. it's fun talking to you guys. That's Coming great. up, we have some summertime activities through Chandler School with Mindy Krasner. And, I'm, of course, I'm supposed to say something, but I, I got to look here. And, uh, <laughs> it's next. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't actually have to say Coming anything. Coming up. <laughs>